Hello everyone, welcome back to Screen Trends. In today's brand new video, we'll be talking about why Dr. Pimple Popper is a horrible show. The first reason is that people get shamed on the internet and are getting compared to her show. One bride-to-be has been ashamed for her hideous pink engagement ring, which has been compared to a Dr. Pimple Popper cyst. It was posted on the Ring Shaming Facebook group a couple days ago by a makeup artist who explained she's in a few Instagram pods. If you're unfamiliar with the concept, it's where people alert other Instagram influencers when they've posted and the members are supposed to like to comment on their pictures. This is really bad and very unnecessary because why would you compare a cyst to a ring? This definitely made the bride hate the show and other people because the show is used as a tool of comparison. The second reason is that Dr. Pimple Popper has ever mentioned some controversial things, which people do not find to be okay. As we all know, if Dr. Lee has a bad image, so will her show. The tweet, which caused backlash against Sandra, was a reply to a WebMD article about sunburn. The article said, what's the difference between sunburn and sun poisoning? A registered nurse explains, Dr. Lee replied, saying, why would a registered nurse explain this? Why not a dermatologist? After that, fans were quick to criticize the tweet, with one writing that, why wouldn't a registered nurse educate the public about a topic that they're trained on? Education is one of the main duties of a nurse, and they excel in it. Many said Dr. Pimple Popper's tweet was so disrespectful and put the face to the mistreatment of nurses by doctors. The third reason is that she persuades people to pop at home. Some believe amateur poppers are less likely to cleanse the treatment area beforehand and disinfect them afterwards. To be fair, those steps are clearly stated on the Dr. Pimple Popper Comedom Extractor page, but that doesn't mean everyone will follow the instructions. Others think extractions can lead to scars, especially if you apply too much pressure. Well Plus Good reported that the National Spa franchise, Clarence, is against the practice because of the potential skin damage. People have shared their bad experiences with their products, and they were criticizing her and her show for being fake. The fourth reason is she convinces her patients to show their embarrassing blemishes to millions of viewers. People go to great lengths to hide embarrassing skin imperfections. From applying cover-up makeup over the area to hiding it with bangs or a hat or whatever. So then why would anyone let Dr. Pimple Popper film their blemishes for millions to see online? The same reason we do many things in life, which is money. Lee told Forbes that she offers to do the procedure for free if patients let her film and post it on YouTube, which can lead to shaming and many more negative things. Viewers are starting to detect that patients feel pressured to go on the show, and some viewers stopped watching, and there are rumors that the patients are forced to be on the show. The fifth reason is that she was pretty pissed at YouTube for considering her vids gory, disgusting, and for shock value. She got really furious, but some viewers actually agreed with YouTube and decided to criticize Dr. Lee back. There's a reason Dr. Lee tends to refer to blood as ooze in her videos and is quick to clean it up. She wants to avoid the wrath of YouTube, according to The Cut. The social media platform is sensitive about graphic content and used to take down Dr. Pimple Popper videos that it deemed inappropriate. The final reason is that Dr. Lee said her oozing videos have been known to help viewers get some shut-eye. She said, believe it or not, my videos are bedtime lullabies to many, in an interview with Lad Bible. The sound of her voice might have something to it. She's heard it has calming qualities, what people call ASMR, Many people actually found the ASMR part disturbing and hated the show for adding slime sound effects that even made some people throw up while watching. Many were expecting some parts to be censored, but they were wrong. Many people are definitely avoiding the show, and many people find it horrible and disgusting, but let's just hope that Dr. Lee can regain those viewers by changing the content a little. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video, we really appreciate it, and don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, comment something nice, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.